Hello, this is Community Kitchen. I'm Laura Davis, and we're sitting here with Simon Cronell. Here we go. Let's kick it off with something very simple, but very remarkable. Slow building of suspense. Holy crap, my thumb is totally <gasps> coming off. <laughs> Okay, I'm impressed that you're impressed by that, but Man, that's supposed to I just be the really, you know, <laughs> if you're into primary school, you've normally, you know, people know what's going on there. Good. So you might notice in the extended remix version of the thumb thing, okay. in which the first finger comes off and vanishes, gets replaced by the third finger, third <laughs> finger restores, little finger shrinks, uh. thumb extends, Goo. Wow. comes off completely, goes back on, then for the finale, we live it. Measure. Yeah. So still not suit. No, I'm guessing you didn't actually think I was really pulling off my fingers during any of that. No. Yeah, that's okay. Because from here on it gets a little bit more convincing. Okay. Okay. Same skills, uh -huh. but used to make it look like something impossible happens. It's time of the ring. Did it for I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, again, illusion. Same as what you saw before. Imagine I take the ring off and put it on the first finger. But it looks like it just happens instantaneously. But the weird bit is when a second later... What?! It goes back onto the finger. Um, okay, I don't actually have really ma real magic powers, but if you did, it's fun to imagine what you would do. Yeah. Most people go for, you know, flying, turning invisible, teleporting, reading people's minds, or something involving cash. In this case, check that out, make sure it's real. This is a hell of a lot more amazing if you've actually checked that that's an actual $5 note. Yeah, okay. I'd, bo I'd borrow yours, but we just met and it get kind of awkward at that right. stage. Right. I don't want to make you uncomfortable about what's going on. I've seen on. these. I work you. in the arts. <laughs> <laughs> I have one. Yeah. That's like three shows at this stage. Yeah. All right, so here's the illusion. Again, similar to what you just saw, but hopefully more amazing this time. Get the folds in just the right place, and then very slowly make it look like something impossible happens. Wow. He's not a comedian. <laughs> no, he's not. There's Where ten shows right that? there. I know, these are unfamiliar objects to anyone in the arts. Oh. But the problem with that, though, is even though that looks pretty convincing, it's just an illusion. Because, you know, if I could do this, I wouldn't need to be here right now. So sadly, it only lasts about 30 seconds before the illusion fades. Apparently empty hands. Back to that five. I don't like it. Oh they <laughs> actually just freaked out. I wasn't it's ready totally for this. Threat. This is not what you expected one no, morning. Uh, I haven't uh, seen as that before. The, the 50, I think. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> what, God, if it got to 100, it would have just completely sent you catatonic yeah, at that stage. Yeah, you'd printed it out. <laughs> do you do internet bank transfers? <laughs> so, obviously, like I said, that's an illusion. You know, if I could actually do that, we'd all be in a much better situation. Mm. But, um... You can't, but you can apply the same skills to something that is actually useful to manipulate, such as something else you might not have seen, crown poker chips. <laughs> Check them out anyway. I mean, if you don't actually recognize yeah, these, these look, high denominations, these look that's a five, genuine. a 25, and a 100 chip. They're heavy, aren't they? Yeah, they no, are. like they make them solid and hardcore. So here's the illusion, because you know, if you went to crown, the challenge is to take the chips from one location, say, dealer's area, to another location, say your pocket. Obviously a good thing, you know, you can relate to it. But to do it without you actually seeing it happen. So watch, first one, hand A to hand B. Like so. That was too quick, that wasn't fair, that was too fast. No, it's all right, I just didn't know that my watching magic face was gonna be this. <laughs> <laughs> it happens to the best. Everyone's got a different watching magic. I wanted right? it to be happy. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> what it is. That's okay. You've done shows for two people. I've done shows for these kind of magic faces. It sorry, works out. Buddy. Slower, slower motion this time. Nice and slow. Gentle waving. Okay, final one. This time I'll slow it down enough so you'll actually see it go. Yeah, I like That's that. That's too slow. I'm comfortable like. with that, though. <laughs> let's, let's do the instant replay and do it properly. Yeah. Oh and then, three chips. So useful in a casino. Yeah. Not so much at a bar, necessarily, but still no. kind of trivial to watch. All right, it's time for the good stuff. In any kind of card game, normally the cards you actually want to get are the aces, highest value in the deck. For example, the ace of diamonds, mm -hmm. making it look fancy in the process, obviously. Ace of clubs. 
take it a step further. This time slightly more dramatically. I'm always glad when that actually works out. And the final one, any bets on what's coming next? The, Another cow. Oh, not the Ace of Spades. That's uh, okay, backup plan is... Ah! Whoa. So that's a good start, but that's just the warm-up. You know, it's kind of cool. There's aces and stuff. But let's take it a step further with... Um, actually, Jennifer, mm -hmm. do you have a favourite card in the deck? Or if you don't, just pick one for the sake of this. Do I touch it? Uh, name it. Total freedom of choice. You're in charge. Okay. Three with a heart on it. <laughs> so the three of hearts in conventional terminology. I don't know that language, <laughs> but sure. No, that works fine. Three of hearts is good. So with that three of hearts, I'm going to show you six apparently impossible things in just two minutes with the three of hearts. It's going to be pretty wild. It's quite a pitch. I know, right? Okay. Goes in the deck. You can see it. Obviously, I couldn't have known which card you were going to pick and so on. So first impossible thing, obviously not on the top or the bottom. I'm trying to find your three of hearts. First impossible thing. It appears on top of the deck. Yeah. That's a good start. That's only one. <laughs> Let me show you again. Slow motion replay. Down near the bottom. Yeah, I'm trusting that. Okay. Step further. That's two. <laughs> a third of the way through. Nice and slowly this time. Three hearts. <laughs> okay. In the middle. Of the middle. You can't get any more in the middle than that. On the table. Okay, that's pretty trippy, so we're going to take a time out. We're halfway through, and let me level it with you. <laughs> Having a drink is wise at this point. What's going on is obviously, you're intelligent people. You know that I have to be date somehow taking the card out of the deck and getting it back to the top. The snap and the wave thing is BS. That doesn't actually do anything. It just distracts you from what's actually going on. You're a tricky man. Because, yeah, obviously I have to sneak it out and get it to the top. The reason why you don't see it is it happens before you think it does. Way before mm -hmm. that whole snap wave thing. Mm -hmm. Think about it. The three of hearts could actually be on the top of the deck right now. Mm -hmm. Like, I could have switched that for a decoy card while we were talking, and you wouldn't know, because all the backs are the same. I'm an idiot. You know. I mean, it's not, but it could be. Mm. You know, these are the possibilities you have to consider. Mm. So if we do it with the deck face up, you'll be able to see the exact second it happens. Dramatic build-up. Slow motion wave. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Something happened. <laughs> Who knows what? <laughs> that was number four. And then where it gets interesting is, say you do all the fancy sleight of hand and all the manipulations and all this kind of crazy stuff, and you do the snap and the wave, and you get, oh, the wrong card. Backup plan is to take that nine of clubs, change back to the three of hearts. <sighs> or even then just take that three of hearts and change that to something totally different. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is making me really anxious. We're going to be alright. So that was the sixth impossible thing, but um, I see what, actually, Laura, do you want to try doing something yourself? Yes. Have you got um, Have you got a pen on you? I don't have a what pen. What we can use? I think I have. Hang on. Yeah, here we go. Take that. It's my dramatic permanent marker. Oh, it's a bit very I want you to pretend that that's a magic wand. It's not. That'd be silly. But, you know, play, play along for a second. Okay. Take the wand, wave it over the deck, say the magic words of your choice. Um, with Swanger up. I like it. While I try and find your three parts. There we go. Okay. And. Oh my god! Mm. Oh, now I feel what responsible. <laughs> I feel dirty. Where'd the cards go? Your three parts. And done. That's pretty great. That's Can pretty you great. wave that over my credit card debt? Credit card debt's intangible. How does she kind of see the kind of located? Oh, it's tangible. It's in here. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably fun. And thank you. And I'm, I'm sorry that... I'm sorry we were so reticent <laughs> with what was happening. It's fine. It's a tense situation. It's, we, it can be confronting and challenging. But we're clearly control freaks and we didn't realise quite. It's, you know, we all learned some things about ourselves today yeah. and that's the important thing. Well, thank you very much for coming and blowing our minds. I thank you for coming and having a chat with us. That was really lovely. Um, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week on Community Kitchen.